Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life, and today I've got something very fun to show you today. This is the Havasco e-bike. I have been wanting to try an e-bike for a long time. This is going to be lots of fun. Hi, it's Jerry, and I've got something really fun to uh, try out today, and this is the new Havasco e-bike. This is a very, very nice e-bike that was sent to us to evaluate. We brought it up to pretty Helen, Georgia, the little Bavarian village of Helen. We're right here on the edge of the Chattahoochee River. Um, today is President's Day, so it's going to be a great day to get out on an e-bike and just show some of the sights and sounds around here and try the bike out and show you what all the features and what it's capable of doing. I've been playing with this thing for about a week now. It is so much fun. Let me show it to you. Uh, this is the Havasco e-bike. This is called the HOV Beta. We got it for several reasons. Here, I'll show you what it looks like all folded up. Uh, it's easy and I'll show you how we carry it in our camper as well on the in the fifth wheel We've got a little spot for it that we strap it in. It's really nice. It's got these very large tires uh, This thing completely folds up and is just super super easy to travel with as we look at some of the features It's got disc brakes uh, front and back and they are they will really stop you There's something you can see the disc brakes that are located here easily to access from the handlebars It has a seven speed a uh, shifter, a Shimano shifter, very, very nice, very, very smooth, uh, very easy to change the gears as you're pedaling around. And then we have the function key that is located here. This is how we power it on. And you can see the display, it will light uh, as it comes up. This is probably gonna flicker because it's an LED display. Uh, it doesn't do that except uh, on camera. And then it has five different modes, pedal modes, that you can invoke. You can just ride it as a plain bike without any assist. And then it has a smart assist technology from this electric motor that you see back here in the back hub. And depending on how much assist you want, one to five, you can set it for the various modes that are available on the bike. And um, it will help you as you go up hills or just out flat. Um, it's, it's really an amazing bike. Just share with you some of the other features that are available. They call that a torque sensor technology. There's nothing to do for this to be able to assist you in your pedaling as you're going down the road. Now it does have a, sh a speed shift here. You can put it in any of the modes and if you don't want to pedal, you can just press that. I won't do it not being on the bike. Um, and it will take off and go. It is, it is really something. It is a very powerful bike. They state that it'll go up to 28 miles per hour. Um, I've got it up to 22, and that's where I chickened out at. Uh, 22 on a, on a bike is really moving out. A couple other things to share with you. This motor is a 750 watt brushless motor. 750 watts, and it has a tremendous amount of power. And uh, then we have a 720 watt battery. This is the battery that's located in here takes a key to be able to pop it out but to charge it you don't have to pull it out it just ha comes with a charger uh, a charger brick that you plug in here uh, you don't even have to take that out to be able to charge it it is a super 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 fun bike uh, we've got a great day to be able to ride around Helen and check out things we're down here on the Chattahoochee River the beautiful Chattahoochee River this is where it starts as it goes all the way down to the Gulf Coast and uh, I'll just kind of show you this before we get out and pedal around. It's just a beautiful, beautiful February day, gorgeous, and uh, a perfect day to be able to ride a bike. So we're going to try out the e-bike. This is going to be a ton of fun today. Well, I'm going to start off here in just uh, an easy pedal mode. This thing has very, very large tires on it. And you can see I'll go over here in just some of the rough areas. It's very, very pleasant to ride. I've currently got it in mode one. So this is the lowest assist and it is absolutely effortless for me to be able to pedal the bike. Now this bike is a bit heavy, it's 85 pounds. 
So as you're lugging it about, it does take a little bit of strength to do that, but to pedal it in this assist mode, it is absolutely zero effort. There is absolutely nothing to it. And uh, this thing will really move out. You've got to be, <laughs> you've got to be ready if you're in a stretch to where you're going to be riding around. So we're going to, we're on the back side of Helen. I don't know what will be open today, uh, but we'll go ahead and pull out here on the main road. There is a, there's a trail down here that I might be able to go on that might be able to give us some views. I'm going to kind of kick this up in speed a bit. And uh, I've got it in the lowest gear. And uh, currently we're doing um, 11 miles an hour in this first mode. That's plenty fast. We'll find a straightaway out here in a bit and really kick it in. So you're seeing the pretty village that's around. Just all kinds of little Bavarian vill villages here. It's just so pretty. Now, when you stop pedaling, the assist stops. So that's a, that's a nice feature here. You don't have to worry about it continuing to pull you down the road. I'll go ahead and uh, kick this up to level five. And you can see this thing flat moves. I mean, it flat moves when you hit this thing. <laughs> Coming up on a speed bump here. We'll see how it performs over the speed bump. No problem. All right, so I don't get a ticket. It hit 20, 20 miles an hour in just a little, little effort. Now, supposedly in your assist mode, depending on how much you're requiring the motor you can get up to 60 miles off this battery i've got a full charge on it right now all right we are going to go down here to the hardman farm heritage trail this is supposed to be a bike friendly trail we'll go down here and check it out all right we'll cross and go across the river here now, I think this is a paved park. Very, very nice. Pretty, pretty area. It's really nice. I'm telling you, it's, it's almost a cheat. This is absolutely effortless to be able to go and use this bike in this area. Right, this is the Helen to Hardman Heritage Trail. And uh, there's supposedly there's all kinds of things to look at. So this will make, a, make it kind of fun to try out the new e-bike here as we go down across the river. And again, I got this in the lowest mode. And I am not having to work hard at all. Well, we'll continue going across the bridge. Uh, I'm having to stop a lot. I'm meeting a lot of people along the way who want to know what I am riding on. So it's catching a, a whole lot of interest. Met a couple and their grandchildren from Croatia. And then as we go down along the trail, uh, we see little stops along the way where they've talked about gold mining in the area from a period not too long ago. And you might be able to make out the uh, the river that's over here. Hey. You can hear it. Can you hear the river? And uh, the beautiful, beautiful rhododendron. Oh, I can only imagine this in June, what it might look like. Just a beautiful, beautiful area. This bike is, before, it's, it's absolutely, and again, I mean, just running in mode one, and it is absolutely effortless to uh, navigate this trail. It's wonderful. And uh, the brakes are very, very responsive. And even going over that bumpy bridge, as you could tell on the camera, just the, the shocks and the big heavy duty fat tires on this are just uh, taking all the shock out. 
What a beautiful trail. This is the old mill. And I think that they still run water through the trough that you see across over there to the mill and they still grind corn and grits and things like that. Pretty spot. And no access to the farm today, or do we? Yeah, we've got access to the farm. I don't see anything that will stop us from going in today. We'll ride around down here and just look and see what's going on. Old historic Hardman Farm. This is an old historic site, beautiful old home. 17 buildings on the property built in 1903. Beautiful old farm. Beautiful old farm. We'll just kind of continue riding down here. The bike is doing exceptionally well. Look at this pretty old farm. Now we're on gravel. And again, even on this old bumpy gravel, very, very pleasant ride on the Vasco is just absolutely handling the trails just beautifully. And what a pleasant, pleasant way to be able to tour. And you just look at all this gorgeous property. Seeing the old homes and for me, it's just absolutely effortless. Absolutely effortless. Beautiful old home. We're back from Hardman Farms. We're back along Edelweiss Street. Uh, this is the street behind uh, the main part of Helen that um, has the, the river, the Chattahoochee River. And there's a lot of you know, your fest halls set up here during Oktoberfest and those types of things down in this area. We'll, uh, we'll continue up the road. Uh, I'm looking now, I've been touring the area for over an hour. And I'm looking at the battery capacity so far. And um, it's still showing full. So I have yet to uh, hardly tap anything. I've been about five miles. All right, we'll take just a few minutes here and ride up to the a main area of Helen. Put it out here on the main roads here. Again, with it being a, a holiday today, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of folks up in the area. It's pretty quiet. Now you come up here during Oktoberfest. There's <laughs> a bazillion people. All right, we'll ease up the road here. Do a bit of a turnaround in a minute. Uh. All right, we'll just kind of ease through Helen today. You can see there's not a whole lot of activity going on in the area. Pretty quiet, pretty easy going. A few folks walking across the way. And if I want to see how fast this thing will go, 14, 15, 20, 21, 22. That's fast enough. <laughs> it will get up and go. And then if I was to start pedaling, they say it'll go up to 26 miles an hour. 
I'm good with that. <laughs> the Havasco e-bike is an absolute blast. So much fun. I think I've been riding around for something like about seven to eight miles. Uh, took me probably a little over two hours, two and a half hours maybe. Um, just absolutely a joy. Uh, I, and, and the battery capacity on this, it's, it hasn't even moved yet. So I could probably ride this all day long in a setting such as this. Just, just absolutely a blast. One more pretty view of this absolutely gorgeous bike. Easy to travel with, uh, tons of power, uh, lots of features, <laughs> and I got stopped a lot. Well, I'd like to thank uh, Havasco for allowing us to try this e-bike out. Uh, this is the HOV Beta. Uh, this is the folding model. I'll leave links into the description today down below. And I'll also leave links in the blog for ilovervlife.com. And for all you subscribers to our newsletter, we'll give you some additional information on this as well. So much fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little tour on the Havasco e-bike through beautiful Bavarian Helen Village and Helen, Georgia. So much fun. I love doing this just as much as I love RV life.